Hello guys, my name is Diego Pacheco and this will be another Java video. So in this video, I want to show how we can do testing with serverless, specifically talking about AWS Lambda implementation with Java. So how can we do unit tests and integration tests with um, serverless and Java, right? So integration tests are easier to do because you end up just calling uh, the lambdas, right? The hard part, it will be how you're gonna um, basically verify that what happens is the correct thing. And in order that to work, ideally you need to return um, state, right? Or, or JSON or write to some other data store like, um, SQS, SNS, S3, RDS, Aurora, whatever. Or you need to return like a JSON or any sort of output from your Lambda, right? Otherwise, uh, the Lambdas are sort of a black box and will be hard to test. It's like functions that don't receive parameters and return void, right? It's really hard to test. So the design gonna matter a lot, right? It will matter a lot. Um, so for unit tests, uh, the challenges are pretty much, you know, in sense of uh, mocking and how can we simulate all sorts of uh, different events because lambdas can be triggered by all sorts of uh, different triggers like CloudWatch triggers, SQS triggers, SNS triggers, um, and uh, that's kind of a challenge. And uh, AWS released um, a library which is called uh, AWS Lambda Java Tests, which help us to do this sort of a unit test and even mocking for the Lambdas for whatever like local integration tests we might have or uh, unit tests, right? So let me show this very simple POC ID, then we can see how this work in practice, right? So I'm using Maven here, and uh, I have um, Surefire here configured for the tests. Um, I'm using JUnit 5. I also need the vintage support here. And uh, we have the AWS Lambda uh, SDK for Java. And then we're gonna add um, the library I just mentioned, AWS Lambda Java tests. And we're gonna use Huncrest for assertions because they make assertions more fluid and um, you get better readability. So that's our point. Now that we have our poem, um, let's take a look on the code. So I have a very simple Lambda handler here that doesn't do much, right? So I have my Lambda handler that implements request handler. It receives a map of string, string, and string. So in the handle request, we're gonna return a string. We're gonna receive a map of string and string, and that's the event and a context. So first thing I wanna check is if in, in the event, if I have a field called message, if I don't, I'm gonna throw an exception, illegal argument exception. Otherwise, I just gonna echo that message back, right? So I'm gonna get the message and I'm gonna hit turn. So no, no big deal, very simple implementation. And then um, for the testing, like I said, this particular library, it allow you to simulate different triggers in Lambda, right? So basically you could create folders here, like you, you could have like a SQS folder, a S3 folder, um, a CloudWatch folder, and then you could use different files to simulate different events. And here, basically, I have two files. So I have just one that I call event.json, where um, we have pretty much the full event and the detail. And in the detail is where we put our custom um, fields and your, your custom attributes, right? So it's all JSON, so you can do any uh, object here. So I'm just passing the message, right? And I create another um, um, attribute that I'm calling my arg and the value is 42. And I have another um, event where I'm missing the message, right? So clearly uh, this one gonna throw a exception and the other one won't, right? And then on the test, we have some um, capabilities here. So one way to do it is this way here, where um, you use the event loader and then you load types of events. 
So this is like a scheduled event, but like I said, um, you could load a S3 event or, you know, uh, SQS or secret manager, whatever. Um, and then just point to the file, right? Then I'm instantiating my handler, which is the Lambda function. Uh, and then I'm gonna call the Lambda and I'm gonna pass the event and I don't care about the context. I could be mocking even the context. And then here I'm gonna use uh, Huncrest to assert that uh, the response is equal to it works. Here we have some uh, syntactical sugar for the unit five where we can use this param parameterized test. And then I have this event annotation where I can tell the name of the JSON file I want to load and what kind of what type of event it is. And then uh, JUnit will pass this to me here as an event. And then I can just go right away to my tests. So the first thing I'm doing, I'm using Huncrest to check if that event's not new. Um, and then I'm setting up my handler, uh, my Lambda that I'm gonna call, I'm calling the handler and I'm doing the assertion. So this both tests do the same thing, but the difference is here, like I am using the loader directly and here we are using the syntactical sugar from uh, JUnit. And here uh, we are doing a different flavor where I wanna look for an exception. So I'm gonna load the one that's missing uh, the argument, all right, and I'm gonna call my uh, my lambda. But then I'm gonna wrap that code in a lambda, uh, not not lambda, uh, the lambda from serverless, but the lambda from functional programming Java, where I'm gonna do the assert throw, so I'm expecting to get an exception. And the exception that I expect to get is the illegal argument exception class. And um, Basically, uh, I'm gonna capture that exception as exception, and then I'm gonna check that exception is not new, meaning um, I really got that um, that exception, and the exception is not new, right? This is not necessary because um, you know if the exception is new here or the exception is not thrown, actually this code here will fail because it's expecting exception. But you know here I could be do something like checking the message, but I didn't check the message because often you don't wanna couple your tests with a uh, stack message. But anyway, uh, this line here is not really, really needed. Anyway, so let's run this and you guys can see that it works. There you go. And you can see how it works. So with this framework, um, you know, Java and Lambda testing are much more easier to do uh, unit tests and mocking and loading particular triggers. So I, ho I hope you guys like it. See you next time. Take care. Cheers.